Hi, dear students. How are you today? Hopefully, you are doing great again with your LMF. Now, in our learning video session for today, you are about to learn more about the using or mapping your periodic table. Of course, this is your teacher, Nori, and I am going to present to you now the correct answers from your activity last in let's explore this am i right okay good so how about prepare now your notebook your lecture or journal notebook creative table and of course your ball pen okay so let's start now we have here a periodic table hopefully meron kayong din jump periodic table okay you're going to relate uh your answers both of our answers from the activity, okay? So we have here, objectives, identify the number of valence electrons, number two, you are going to compare the electronegativity and ionization energy values of metals and non-metals. This activity highlights the location of the metals, non-metals, and noble gases in the periodic table of elements. This is important for you to realize that with the use of the periodic table, you can easily determine the kind of atom you are dealing with. Okay, so get ready now your answer. Okay, in question number one, of course, where can you find metals, non-metals, and noble gases in the periodic table of elements? Now, when you face the periodic table or facing the periodic table, metals are located before the, very good, it's the metalloids that is on the left side of our periodic table of elements. Hopefully, ma-follow ninyo ang red line na naka-indicate sa to ang figure sa slide. Okay, next. For how about the non-metals? Again, Facing the periodic table, non-metals fell after the metalloids. Saan ito yung metalloids? From moron up to here. No? Ito yung metalloids natin. After that, that is, or those are already our non-metals on the right side of the periodic table. Of course, except for this last group, no? yung helium, neon, and argon, there are also other groups. Okay, for the noble gases, ito yung sinasabi ko. From here, okay, ito yung rightmost column ng periodic table. Or group 18. Or group 18, right? Okay, that's good. So, actually, tapos sa kayo ito when you were in grade 8 or even grade 7. So, moving on. Which number tells you the number of valence electrons? The representative elements or main group of elements are found in the S block and P block of the periodic table. The group of number of the S block or groups 1 and 2 elements tells us the number of valence electrons. So, say for example, now, if you have your copy there in the periodic table, yung number na makikita nyo from, anong tawag dito? Ayan. Vertical, okay, vertical, it's 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Those are group number. If you're going to observe, meron yang um, specification yung predict table natin, okay? Yung naka-horizontal, those are periods, okay? So how many periods meron ang ating periodic table? Very good, there are 7. How many groups meron sa the table, if we're going to relate that on the number of valence electrons, meron yang 8 or group 8 of uh, what they call that sa ating periodic table, group 1 up to group 8. Okay, but of course, exemption ito nasa kita. For example, all elements belonging to group 2, yung mga group 2, meron din yang 2 valence electrons. Exception is the helium in group 18. No? For the P-block elements like the group 13 to 18, the number of electrons is the group number minus 10. Actually, 
this pattern does not include the transition elements. Okay, so again, this is a group 1. So, meron yung valence 1. Yung group 2, meron sila 2 valence. And then from group 3, yung boron group, that's meron silang tatlong. Okay, very good. Valence electrons, carbon group, meron sila apat na valence electrons. And then it follows na. Okay, sana nakuha niyo yan, yung ating logic, yung periodic table. Next, number 3. Now, how about yung number of valence electron ng metals? Can you observe that? Remember, metals have lesser valence electrons. As again, makita mga metals, getting aside, no? Facing your periodic table, here starting from, anong dito? Left, no? Left part to right, okay? So, from left here, no? Magigita ni dyan yung mga metals natin. So, obviously, they have lesser number of valence electrons. So one, two. Okay, good. How about yung noble gases natin? Of course, they have eight valence electrons. Except for helium na meron yung two valence electrons. Okay. Next, what kind of element has less than four valence ele electrons? That are, or those are called metals. Less than four, one, two, up to here, are metals. So the non-metals fall above four. Million. The valence electrons kasi are the electrons directly involved in forming bonds to form compounds. Again, they are important, yung valence electrons, in forming bonds. Bakit form ng bonding yung mga chemical elements? Para makagawa sila ng compounds. It is important that you know the number of valence electrons so that you can illustrate how bonds are formed. It is good that you have found out that metals have low electronegativity and non-metals have high electronegativity. Now, anong sinasabi mo electronegativity ma? So, tingnan natin sa next slide. Okay. Low electronegativity, generally, ito yung mga metals. While the high electronegativity, ito naman yung mga non-metals. So yung example ko dito ng periodic table is naka-base ng electronegativity value. Okay? So if you're going to observe, electronegativity tends to increase from left to right. So from here... The may panaya electronegativity value hantod pa dulong dito sa right nagapataas. So asagi ang mga metals, there is a left part and pa dulong sa right part, those are the non-metals. So higher, higher electronegativity, those are non-metals. Lower electronegativity, those are the metals. Okay. Please remember that. We kailangan natin yan for the incoming learning video session pa natin. Okay. Now, if we're going to observe electronegativity, kailangan na sinabi ko, tends to increase from left to right. Or from here, increasing from here up to pataas sa siya, nag increase po na yung electronegativity. Okay, now how about ionization energy? Metals have low ionization, while the non-metals high ionization. So, ionization energy tends to increase from left to right across each period. So, timan ilang, no? Dali na kayo timan na parehara sila sa electronegativity and ionization energy trend. But, of course, iba yung definition ng dalawang terms. Okay. So, what is electronegativity? It is a measure of the tendency of an atom to attract electron. The higher its value, the higher its tendency to attract electron. So, which of these metal or non-metals has high electronegativity? Of course, it's the non-metals. Attack how much? Mas mataas yung tendency na mag-attract yung non-metals ng electrons. Okay. Ionization energy naman, ito yung energy needed to pull or remove one or more electrons from a neutral atom. 
So, the lower the energy and or the lower the ionization energy, the easier to remove his valence electron. So, we have here which of these metals or non metals have low ionization energy. Of course, metals. Mas madaling silang magbigay ng electrons. If you can remember our ions, diba? Once it, they will lose electron, they will become cat ion. And that is what they are easy to remove the balance electrons. Okay? Next, we have here, uh, remember na tayo ng mga terms, no? Again, balance electrons, these are the number of electrons in the outermost energy level. Electronegativity, or by the way, balance electrons, ito yung group number ng bawat representative elements. Electronegativity, ito yung ability of an atom to attract additional electrons toward itself. Well, the ionization energy it is the amount of energy to knock off the electrons. Metals have the tendency to remove easily its electrons. Okay, so how about in our, let's try this. I want you to get your journal notebook and try to answer these metals or non-metals. Again, five seconds. Okay, start. Is it metal or non-metals? Isulat niyo lang metal or non-metal. More than four valence. Okay. Uh, Ayan. Next. How about, okay, hopefully you were able to get that, ha? Huh? Review, review muna. Yeah, for number, of course, that is non-metals. More than four payments. Okay, how about this? Ready? Go. <laughs> Okay, what do you think is the correct answer? Low electronegativity. Very good. They are metals. Next for our number three items. Item. Okay, go. Okay, time is up. So what do you think is the correct answer? High ionization energy. What do you think? Very good. They are the nine metals. Okay. How about this? Number four. Easier to remove is valence electron. Ready? Go. Okay. That is up. So, what's the correct answer? That is metals again they are easier to remove is valence electrons next number five higher its tendency to attract electrons is it the non-metals or non-metals ready go okay five is up so what do you think is the correct answer very good. They are the non-metals. Galing. Okay, how about in part two? So, gano po na naman? May parang na exercise kay importante kay niya sa paggamit na to sa bonding, no? Chemical bonding. Okay? For part two, we are going to use now chemical elements. Okay? Sodium or chlorine. Pili lang sa ila, ha? Now, okay, di naging mong familiar pa. Gamitan ninyo ang mga periodic table. Which of then has the higher or higher its tendency to attract electron. Ready? Go. Okay, time is up. So what is the correct answer? Very good. Chlorine. So siya ang mas, mas what? Usok mo attract mo electron. Chlorine is what? Kalina, di ba? Naka-remember mo. It is an ion. Once maka-form siya o compound, may mo siyang an ion. Negative, di ba? Okay, next. Magnesium or chlorine. Easier to remove is valence electron. Go. Okay, time is up. Ready? 
Okay, what do you think is the correct answer? Of course, magnesium. It's easier to remove valence electrons. Okay, do you want more? Dagan pa kay si Mandiri for number eight. Potassium or nitrogen? More, more than, sorry ha, namalik na siya. It's a more than four valence electrons. Ready? Go. Okay. So, the correct answer is, very good, it's the nitrogen. It's in more than four valence electrons. Okay, how about this? Calcium or fluorine? Low electronegativity. Ready? Go. Okay, what do you think is the correct answer? Is it calcium or fluorine? Very good. It's the calcium. Okay, how about one more? Number 10. Lithium or sulfur? High ionization energy. Ready? Go. Okay, time is up. So, what is the correct answer? High ionization energy. Very good. It's so far. Okay, so hopefully you were able to learn and be amazed of our chemical elements. And of course, kung pa na-realize ninyo na importante dyan, ganito ang cardiac table. Okay, so, how is it? Kumusta nga itong activity? Hopefully, ma-remember ninyo ang short topic na ito. Balikan lang yung mission ng video. And then do not forget to subscribe and like my YouTube channel for future learning in chemistry. Please keep learning. Don't stop here in my video. Maningkamot magbasa-basa o maningkamot magtuon. Okay, so see you again till next time. And goodbye!